buy guns from people who go to the gun shows and get guns at large quantities. You know, I mean, I know all these people. I live there where all this is going on. And, I mean, you guys might think that there's already a, a they already have, a, they have everything under control, but it's not. I mean, regardless of if we pass this law or not, um, I mean, things might change, but this, this right here, this bill, all three of these bills, this is just the beginning. Because there's bigger, there's bigger threats out there, and there's bigger laws that we need to focus on that aren't being enforced in America. But these three, these three, these three house bills right here, this is this is the beginning, and I'm all for it. And like I said, you guys are looking, most of you guys are looking out and from the outside in. Because I'm there. I'm there every day. Even down into researching, I don't even want to know where, the, where these companies are located and none of that. But, but then what makes you think that they're showing you guys? That's what who else is going to get it? They don't have a factory in the hood where, where they're making guns. You don't think some of those guns might be stolen? They're not, man. How, how, how can, where are you going to get 200 stolen guns from? Uh, from 200 houses in a year. 10 houses in a See, nobody, nobody says, all right, nobody. So, uh, I'm sorry, just, just want to clarify. I think what I'm hearing you saying that at least one source of these guns on the street is the gun shop. Thank you. First question I'd like to ask is, do we have an epidemic of gun violence? Because the proponents of the legislation is the ladies, the very well-intended and sincere testimony from the Mary Bottom March members and others who at least believe we have an epidemic of gun violence. That is not the case. Texas and the United States are safer than they have ever been. I won't go into details of the push for the clipping file here that has uh, information from the National Center for Health Statistics, the Center for Disease Control, um, U.S. gun deaths at lowest since the mid 60s. You'll see that we do not have an epidemic of gun violence, and we may be in a situation where we have a solution seeking a problem. Payments made to backers of gun bills. Questions arise over cash given to three witnesses who support gun show background checks. Proponents of gun owners' rights asked lawmakers Friday to investigate cash payments made to three Houston men who appeared before a House committee this week to support bills that would require instant background checks at gun shows. Dave Smith, president of Houston-based Texans for Gun Safety, a known front that is funded by Handgun Control Incorporated, said he gave the three members of Young Texans Against Gun Violence, Nina Butts' group is Texans Against Gun Violence, about 300 each to cover their expenses and lost wages for the trip. All three men, however, said they are currently unemployed. So they can't get their lies straight. That's lie number four right there. Um, it was reimbursement for their jobs, but they're unemployed. Otarius Kelly, 20, one of the witnesses, said it is ridiculous that someone would raise concerns about their testimony. It's against my morals, Kelly said. An admitted gang member, by the way, uh, in, the San, uh, in the Houston Chronicle is another story about this in there. Another witness agreed. The money that was given to us was not to change our testimony, said Bruce Brown, 18, who did not speak to the committee, but submitted a witness form that showed he supported the bills. Smith, who gave the men the cash just outside the committee hearing room, said Young Texans Against Gun Violence is an arm of his group. The subsidiary group receives donations from the Catholic Campaign for Human Development and the Alliance for Justice. Those groups encourage young people to get experience in the political process, Smith said. <laughs> yeah, right. Reimbursing witnesses for travel expenses is not unusual, said Susie Woodford of Common Cause Texas, a group that monitors government ethics. But she said other witnesses using cash and paying for witnesses, time raises ethical questions. It totally undermines the witness's credibility, Woodford said. I got here. I said, how will this look? It says complaints about the payments began circulating after Austin-based talk show host Alex Jones, who was at the House Criminal Jurisprudence Committee meeting Tuesday, aired videotaped interviews with Smith and the young men. They told Jones the money was reimbursement, stipends, and campaign contributions. So three different stories. It's, it's like the famous scene in a movie. Where are you guys going? Or where, what are you doing? Going to see my mother. Uh, going to get something to eat. Uh, going to the moon. It's just making it up. Head of Gun Owners Alliance has asked his thousands of members to seek a House investigation of the payments and to have the hearing disregarded. 
Smith's second complaints are being raised because the young men are minorities. Jones, a strong supporter of gun owners' rights, said Smith was trying to cover up his dirty activities by making accusations of racism. He's sitting here, caught on tape, throwing out different stories and giving out money, said Jones, who mentioned the payments during his testimony against the proposal to require background checks at gun shows. How dare he try to divert attention by saying I'm a racist. Committee members Rick Green, R. Dripping Springs, and Juan Hinojosa, McAllen said they were uneasy about taking Jones seriously because of other inflammatory comments he has made. Hinojosa, the chairman of the committee, said that although he didn't know details about the payments, he is not concerned if the witnesses are compensated for testifying. Hinojosa said lobbyists are compensated for their work to influence policy on behalf of other interests. Maybe these kids were paid for their travel, but I don't see anything improper about it, Hinojosa said. It is part of the process. It is part of open government. State law requires people who are paid more than 1,000 in three months or who spend more than 50, uh, 500 a quarter trying to influence legislation or agency action to register as lobbyists. So you broke the state election laws, bud. You're not a lobbyist. We checked. Smith said not reimbursing witnesses for lost wages would mean average Texans would be left out of legislative debates. And he said cash made sense. All right, we're back live at PrisonPlanet.tv, simulcasting uh, on the radio here. And uh, this is my first time talking to him. Uh, my producers talked to him many times. We've set him up for the show. I'm not going to say which state police agency he's from. We've gotten this from several states, more than several different variants in the last few months. Uh, we're going to call him David. That's not his name. That sent us the MIAC strategic report uh, that has gotten national and international attention. In fact, the MIAC report was here in my stack. And then Jason was in here last night doing a show. I'll have to dig it out. Here is the MIAC report. Uh, no, that's not it. But the point is, it's up on Infowars.com and uh, everywhere else. No, that's a copy of the Mayak report. Oh, there it is. Good. Folks, it's so crazy in here setting up guests. I was just talking to Ron Paul's office, and then um, uh, after that, I was talking to um, Chuck Baldwin's office just now and setting up the state police officer right now. What I'm, do is I'm just going to come back from break. We're going to push Oath Keepers back to about 15 after next hour. So I have time to talk, uh, uh, talk on air to the state police officer and restart what I was just covering here with the Mayak report because I got on air and realized I wanted the Mayak report and found it here in the disheveled stack. Uh, so uh, we're going to talk to David, state police officer. It's not his name, folks. Uh, when we come back, directly from the gentleman that sent us this, one of the gentlemen that sent us this, stay with us. Heart disease is on the rise. Clogged arteries, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol levels may not be fully detected by you, but the symptoms are there. Loss of energy, blood sugar spikes and drops, poor circulation, and irregular heartbeat are just a few of these that can alert you that something is wrong. Hear how heart and body extract is making a difference in thousands of people's lives across America. My blood pressure has normalized. My diabetes has totally improved. Everyone is telling me now how much healthier I look, and I'm from everyone how much healthier I feel. I recommend heart and body extract to everyone. Anybody over 40 in the North American continent should be using this product as a preventative to keep their cardiovascular system healthy. Order your two-month supply today by calling 866-295-5305. That's 866-295-5305. Or order online, hbextracts.com. Heart and body extract, 866-295-5305. Or hbextract.com. In the New World Order's war against humanity, Barack Obama is the tip of the spear. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded. The Obama deception completely destroys the myth that Obama is working for the best interest of the American people. Well, Obama's already fudging. Yeah, He's fudged since day one in this election. If you have a demagogue with a fanatical mass movement of personality cultists who is imposing the program of a group of extreme bankers and finance oligarchs, that's fascism. It's not about left or right. It's about a one-world government. This film documents who Obama works for, the lies he has told, and his real agenda. Get your copy of the Obama Deception today at Infowars.com or download it in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. The Obama Deception. The people strike back. 
Due to recent events related to the H1N1 virus, the Center for Disease Control has issued a public health emergency across the United States. What can you do to prepare yourself from potential airborne threats? Using patented technology developed for NASA, ZeroFlu.com offers you the very best in air purifiers. These revolutionary air purifiers sanitize and protect up to 3,000 square feet of your home and stop 99.9% .9 of airborne allergens, influenza, bacteria, viruses, pollen, dust, pet dander, black mold, MRSA, salmonella, contaminants from chemtrails, and more. Not only from the air, but from all surfaces. With no filters to replace ever, you save money. Prepare yourself today. Truthful answers to your questions and concerns can be found at ZeroFlu.com. To learn more, visit ZeroFlu.com. 